Today we're going to be talking about the effects of stress on your body. Pause the video and take a moment to copy your objective. Students will describe the types of illnesses that can affect your body. Now take a moment to pause your video and complete the warm up. Give three examples of positive effects of you stress and give three examples of negative effects of distress. Now we're gonna talk about the causes of stress. There are four main causes to stress. The first in, uh, is major life changes. Major life changes can include moving from California all the way to New York. The second cause of stress are catastrophes. Catastrophes include any type of natural weather phenomenon, like an earthquake or a hurricane. The third cause of stress includes everyday problems. These can range from um, not knowing how you're going to get to school to worrying about whether or not your parents will um, be able to pay rent. The fourth cause of stress is environmental problems. Environmental problems can include anything from being in a very crowded and loud room to having problems within your social circle. Now take a moment to pause this video and complete the quick write. For each of the causes of stress, I want you to list two examples for each of them. So two examples for major life changes, two for catastrophes, and so on. Now let's talk about the stages of stress. There are three main stages of stress that your body goes through. The first is the alarm stage. The second is the resistance stage. And the third one is the exhaustion stage. Let's begin with the alarm stage. Uh, during this stage, the release of the chemical adrenaline is released by your body. This causes your heart to beat faster, and this causes your breathing to speed up. Uh, as a result, you are more focused and your attention narrows to the danger or the challenge that is posed in front of you. Uh, this will prepare you for either fight or flight. If you recall, Fight or flight response is the initial reaction of your body to stress where you fight the stress or you run from it. Take a moment to pause your video and complete quick write number two. Write about a time when you went into fight or flight response. What happened and what did you do? Now this chart right here is, demonstrates the effect of stress on your body and you will be using this chart later on in the worksheet that is following these notes. Let's talk about stage two, the resistance stage. If you are unable to successfully respond or relieve the stressor during the first stage, the alarm stage, your body goes into the resistance stage next. In this stage, you may think you are not stressed, but actually your body still feels the stress and is actually using up a lot of energy. So as a result, you tend to be more tired and you tend to be more irritable. You tend to get mad easier and you tend to lose your patience a lot quicker. Now take a moment to pause this video Click on quick write number three in your notes and watch the video and then answer the following questions. Name the illness that long-term stress leads to. What does the video say you can do to reduce the problems of mental stress? Now let's talk about the final stage of stress. This is the exhaustion stage. At this point, your body can no longer keep up with the demands placed on it, and your physical and emotional resources are 
depleted or just about gone. Ex exhaustion occurs only if the stressor continues for a very long period of time. Now go ahead and pause this video, click on the closure in your notes, watch that video, and then summarize in your notes. How can stress affect your body and health? Once you have finished that, you can go ahead and go to Google Classroom and open up the following assignment that relates to these notes.